Hello, welcome to the channel and thank you for staying committed to us. And if this is the first time, I would like to welcome you to Ghana University Application Tips, the only and the best YouTube inquiry channel that provides free professional consultation to all applicants applying to their favorite universities in Ghana. You can also check our videos of other universities in our archives to keep you well informed. So do me a favor by clicking on the subscribe button as well as liking the video which will be much appreciated. So the University of Development Studies is Ghana's first public university in the north and it was established by the government in the year 1992 to provide higher education to all persons suitably qualified and capable of benefiting from such education. To also undertake research and promote the advancement and dissemination of knowledge and its application to the needs and aspirations of the people of Ghana. To also blend with the academic world with that of the community in order to provide constructive interaction between the two for the total development of Northern Ghana in particular and the country as a whole. The university began their academic work in the year 1993 which operates a multi-campus system that is the Tamale campus, the Yangpala campus, Tamale city campus, the Tamale North campus and the East campus Yendi. So let's move on to the general entry requirement for WASI and SSCE applicants. And WASI holders seeking admissions into degree programs must have at least a C6 in all their three core and three elective subjects. And WASI holders who have a grade D7, E8 or F9 in any of their core subjects or three electives are advised not to apply for the degree program at the University of Development Studies. So the aggregate score of the best six subjects, which is the three core and three electives, must not exceed an aggregate of 36. However, admissions will be on competitive basis and various programs offered at the University of Development Studies have their cutoff points much lower than aggregate 36. So for candidates who read art and business subjects at the Awasi, a grade in social studies may be used in place of a grade in integrated science in the calculation of their aggregates, if their social studies grade is better than the grade in integrated science. And it's also on the condition that this candidate has at least a credit pass in integrated science. For science students, however, social studies does not replace integrated science in the calculation of the candidate's aggregate. So we move on to entry requirements for a diploma program. And to be admitted into a diploma program, three credit passes in the area of specialization, that is the elective subjects, and at least two passes D7 or better in English language and mathematics in Yowasi is required. Any candidate without a pass in English language and mathematics need not apply for the diploma. And it's not likely that all candidates with the minimum requirements for diploma programs will be admitted. Preference will be given to candidates who have good grades or credit passes. Applicants should also take note that candidates who met the requirements for degree programs, that is credit passes in three electives and the three core, but have aggregates that are not good enough may be admitted into the diploma programs. So we move on to the application process and application forms for admission to diploma and undergraduate programs in the University for Development Studies is available online and you are to visit their official website that is www.admissions.uds.edu.gh And WASI applicants who are awaiting their results are eligible to apply by selecting awaiting option and indicating their examination details. Upon the release of the 2021 WASI results, the university will automatically update all awaiting results in their system. We move on to the available programs at the University of Development Studies and under the School of Medicine, there is the Bachelor of Medicine, there is the Doctor of Pharmacy and the Bachelor of Science Physician Assistantship. And these programs is for WASI candidates only with elective subjects like chemistry, biology, physics, as well as elective mathematics. We move on to the School of Allied Health Sciences and there's the Doctor of Medical Laboratory Sciences, there's the Bachelor of Science Community 
nutrition and there's the bachelor of science medical imaging technology this is a science-based program for wasi holders with electives like physics chemistry biology and elective mathematics as well as home economics candidates are also eligible to apply we also move on to the school of nursing and midwifery and there's the bachelor of science nursing the bachelor of science midwifery and the bachelor of science health information management and these are purely science based programs however under candidates with business background a greek science background general arts background or home economics background can also apply we move on to available programs under the faculty of education which is admitting suitably qualified persons into full-time or top-up bachelor of education programs into the following courses which is relevant to their elective subjects of studies and there's the bachelor of education social science the Bachelor of Education, Business Studies, the Bachelor of Education, Agricultural Science, the Bachelor of Education, Family and Consumer Science, the Bachelor of Education, Mathematics, the Bachelor of Education, Science, the Bachelor of Education, Basic Education, Lower Primary, Upper Primary and GHS, the Bachelor of Education, Early Childhood Care and Education, the Diploma in Basic Education, and the Diploma in Early Childhood Care and Education. Moving on to available programs under the Faculty of Agriculture, Food Science and Consumer Sciences, there's the Bachelor of Science, Agriculture Technology, the Bachelor of Science, Family and Consumer Sciences, the Bachelor of Education, Agriculture Science, the Bachelor of Science, veterinary nursing the bachelor of science food processing technology and the bachelor of science agribusiness and this particular program that is the bachelor of science agribusiness is for science based and non-science based applicants with three credit passes in core subjects and elective subjects Moving on to available programs under the Faculty of Biosciences and there's the Bachelor of Science Biotechnology and Molecular Biology. There's the Bachelor of Science Aquaculture Technology and Fisheries Sciences. There's Diploma in Biotechnology and Molecular Biology. There's Diploma in Agriculture Technology and Fisheries Sciences. And finally, Certificate in Food Safety, which is a six weeks program, which is organized by the Department of Microbiology. So this certificate program targets degree and HND holders from any discipline who are interested in food safety. So GHS, SHS, WASI, and vocational school graduates who are interested in food safety can apply for this program. As well as personnel who are involved in food handling, in the hospitality and food industry such as hotels, bars, restaurants, cold stores, etc. Sachet or bottle water producers, street food vendors, cooking staff of senior high schools, domestic cooks and other interested persons working in the supply food chain can equally apply for the certificate in food safety. Moving on to available programs under the Faculty of Natural Resources and Environment and there's the Bachelor of Science Renewable Natural Resources which focus on forest and forest resource management, ecotourism and environmental management and fisheries and aquatic resource. There's the Bachelor of Science Ecotourism and Hospitality Management, there's the Bachelor of Science environmental management and sustainability and the bachelor of science forest resource conservation and management and these programs are for pure science or agricultural science applicants however non-science based applicants with credit passes in elective mathematics economics and geography and at least a c4 in integrated science qualify to apply there is also the two-year diploma in natural resource management. 
Moving on to available programs under the Faculty of Communication and Cultural Studies, there is the Bachelor of Science Social Change Communication. This is a non-science based program for non-science based SSE WASI holders, but science based students are also eligible to apply for the Bachelor of Science Social Change Communication. The Faculty of Communication and Cultural Studies also run the Diploma in Social Change Communication. Moving on to the available programs under the School of Engineering, and there's the Bachelor of Science Mechanical Engineering, which specializes in options like thermal fluids and energy engineering, automotive engineering, applied mechanic engineering, as well as design and production engineering. There's also the Bachelor of Science Agricultural Engineering, which specializes in options like food and post-harvest engineering, soil and water conservation engineering, farm power and machinery engineering, as well as irrigation and drainage engineering. And this program is for candidates with elective science subjects like chemistry, biology, physics, and elective mathematics. So we are about to visit the University for Development Studies official website. So we can simply type UDS for short. And the official homepage for the University for Development Studies is uds.edu.gh. So we click on the link. So this is the official website for the University of Development studies and there are available news and events displayed on the home page as well as information about the university campus there are also informations about the number of schools faculties institutes and centers and there's also contact details displayed in case you need further inquiries about the university So our major focus is with admissions, so we go to the admissions tab and click on how to apply. So please make sure to read all the necessary information about the mode of application for domestic Ghanaian applicants which teaches you how to purchase the university e-voucher, how to apply online and what is required of you to complete your application as well as information about the closing date of application, which is on the 31st of July, 2021. There's also mode of application for foreign applicants and foreign applicants are to pay a hundred US dollars through the link provided and also apply online. And their closing date is also the 31st of July, 2021. So after reading how to apply, let's quickly look at undergraduate admissions. So for the regular undergraduate programs, there is the bachelor's degree program as well as diploma programs, which is being grouped according to their schools. And there is a school of medicine, school of allied health sciences, school of nursing and midwifery, school of public health, faculty of education. Faculty of Sustainable Development Studies, Faculty of Agriculture, Food and Consumer Sciences, Faculty of Biosciences, the Faculty of Natural Resource and Environment, the Faculty of Communication and Cultural Studies, and the School of Engineering. So you can find all these available programs on their website and read more about the entry requirements which I have which I have stated emphatically. So when you are done with this, you quickly head to the apply now column and click on apply now to start your application. So on the application portal, you are to enter your username and your password. So if you don't have a username and your password, you go to the sign up tab 
and enter your application category whether undergraduate or postgraduate you enter your username your preferable username your surname your first name as well as your middle name you provide your active email address you confirm your email address and provide a suitable password as well as confirming your password you also provide the details where you bought your e-voucher from so you select the particular bank you bought your e-voucher whether it is agricultural development bank eco bank gcb bank national investment bank prudential bank stambic bank or zenith bank so these are the official banks that sells the university of development studies e-voucher so when you select the bank you enter your serial number as well as your pin number and sign up so when you are done with signing up you go ahead to the login you enter your username and your password and you start your application so let's take a look at these very important announcements for the university of development studies and in completing your online form applicants will be required to upload their most recent passport size photographs with white background and relevant certificates applicants who use objects instead of their own will be disqualified by the university applicants should take note that completed forms will not be considered for admissions unless it is submitted to the university both online and through hard copies applicants are also advised to check thoroughly all details entered before finally submitting their online applications a form once submitted can only be viewed but cannot be edited candidates are also strongly advised to visit any ems office in the country for assistance towards the return of their application documents applicants are also advised not to post the forms themselves they should seek advice and services of the ghana post ems applicants must print out application summary or their proof of application attach their resource slip certificates and all other relevant documents these documents should be submitted in triplicates that is three copies each to the deputy registrar academics affairs section sales of application vouchers so you can make payment of 200 ghana cds for the university of development studies e-voucher at any stambic bank gcb bank agricultural development bank adb bank national investment bank prudential bank zenith bank eco bank branches throughout the country you can also visit university of development studies online payment portal at www.p.uds.edu.gh with a mastercard or a visa card to make online payment of 200 ghana cds to purchase your e-voucher and you should also print the advice slip for future reference application deadlines so the closing date for submission of applications is on the 31st of july 2021 and candidates should note that no applications will be accepted after the closing date application inquiries so for further information or questions you can contact the university through the following numbers that is 0720-93382 and 0720-93382 nine three six nine seven during working hours from 8 a.m to 5 p.m from monday to friday or you can also send them an email to academic affairs at uds.edu.gh to the deputy registrar academic and student affairs university for development studies and their box number is po box tl1350 tamale campus tamale so I'd like to thank you all for watching and if you enjoyed the video, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and most importantly, share to your loved ones. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the upcoming video.